garbage. Disgusting. Trash. Turn it off. Absolute garbage. Garbage. Trash. Disgusting. Garbage. Turn it off. Trash. Turn it off. Disgusting. Absolute garbage. Garbage my ass. This looks wicked. Why isn't this music on the radio? It's corrupting the youth. <laughs> no, really. Why hasn't anyone had the guts to just give them the bird and play it? It's not that easy. Isn't it though? Dean, your dad did it. That's his career. We're just kids. We could do it. No. Just let me. In this household, we don't support that garbage. That concert is going to be nothing but alcoholics and women of loose nature. All my friends are going. Oh yeah? These people you call your friends? All a ton of brainwashed, ungrateful losers, if you ask me. I've had just about enough of them around my family. Like Dean, whose hippie parents are trying to corrupt his mind to be just like them. Some friend you got, Ricky. He's indoctrinating that entire group of friends. He's probably the one who told him about the concert. Oh yeah, that concert? Don't get me started. They call that music? You know, through the grapevine, I heard that 103.7's going out of business. My dad does like the idea of us getting a new radio station going. She'll do it. That band we just heard was so rad. <laughs> I know. That's the kind of music we could be playing. That's what people want to hear. Come on, Charlie. This is losing me money. Now get your shit together or you're off the air. Yeah, yeah, Sam, did you did, did you hear the stuff about Charlie? No, yeah, I told him. I said if he doesn't get his shit together, he's off the air. Hello, San Diego. You're here with Spiffy Ricky, taking you out of Squaresville to jam to these new tunes. First on the box, we have Wild Side with their new song, Take It Back. Did you hear somebody took over old Donnie's radio station? He just couldn't keep up with the changing styles. What changing styles? Good classic music just doesn't stand a chance against those crazy rock stations like Richard Milton's. Mr. Milton's station isn't rock. Enlighten me then. 
What is this lovely noise that he's indoctrinating the youth with? It's bandstand, and it's not. The friendship with the Miltons is done. Not another word. Done. I did some investigation on your ratings, and it looks like here in the San Diego area, you guys are the third most listened to station. Well, I was reading in the newspaper that almost all the teens in the local area have been listening to the kind of music that we play. And their parents want to know what they're listening to, so they've started listening as well. Wait, Tammy, what newspaper? You're on it, Tim. I'll fill you in later. Hello, sunny San Diego. You're here with Spiffy Ricky on KRSD. Today we have a special guest, Richard Milton, our executive producer. So Rich, with all these parents telling their kids not to listen to this garbage, why are you helping us? Well, I think the parents of our generation are just so concerned about all the changes in our world that they don't even remember what it's like to be in these kids' shoes. So, look, when I was younger, the dangerous thing was dancing. We did it anyways because it was fun. Now if these parents would just stop and realize that these kids are just trying to do what they did when they were kids, just have some fun. I think that maybe they would reconsider their views on rock and roll. Wait, wait. So you're telling me that there's another genre of music out there completely different from anything else? Yeah, dude, it's just like all about just like love and peace and just coming together. I'm in shock. Play this one. All right, folks, I may get in trouble for playing this, but here's a little love, peace, and togetherness for your Friday. the damn door. That no good son of a... Damn it! Robert! Come on. So here we have Susan on the line. Susan, I understand you wanted to ask your boyfriend Michael something. Yes, he should be listening right now. So Susan wants to ask... against me. This trash is ruining everything. Ricky, we're leaving now. Dad, do something. Don't let him treat you like that. Ricky? My name is David Shea. You may know me from KMLA. Let me know if you'd be interested in doing business. <laughs> 